Short term rentals like Airbnb and Verbo are popular alternatives to hotel stays and you may have booked one yourself, but some homeowners don't want them in their neighborhood and that's why the Fort Worth City Council just passed new regulations on compliance and enforcement. Here's Matt Howerton. Yeah, this is a hot issue, not just in Fort Worth, but all over the Metroplex in Cowtown. The city now has some teeth to deal with short term rentals that might step out of line. As of Tuesday night, short term rentals must pay to register with the city every year. A hotel occupancy tax for all properties will be collected. A ban on events or parties is in effect, as well as on site parking requirements, occupancy limits, and a requirement for someone to be available 24 7 to respond to issues happening at a short term rental. For months, council members have heard from residents who say short term rentals in the city can be a nuisance, impacting home prices, shrinking the housing market, but those owning STRs say they're people people too, just trying to make a living. You'll be reducing the amount of money that hardworking Fort Worth people actually make in this time of need. Here's another issue. Right now, short term rentals are only allowed in specific areas in Fort Worth, industrial, commercial zones, mixed use areas that include both commercial and residential properties, but they aren't allowed in areas that are solely residential. Yet the city found that only 68 properties right now are operating where they're supposed to be and that 565 aren't. That seems to be a big part of the issue. Yet the city tells me these new regulations only apply to short term rentals that are operating where they're supposed to be in Cowtown. Those that are not will face different consequences for zoning violations. Last year, the city did more short term rental inspections than 2019, 2020 and 2021 combined. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Howerton.